he has until I think uh, May the 29th to withdraw from that. Uh, I would be shocked if he didn't withdraw. Yeah, I, I think he'll come back to school, definitely. So, uh, John Tay Porter, though, uh, he will be eligible for the NBA draft, even though he was uh, injured in March and, uh, and is bouncing back from another ACL injury there. Uh, those guys yeah. <laughs> feel so terrible for the Porter brothers, man. Yeah, they, they just, you know, it seems like they were kind of snake bit, uh, you know, just with, with the injuries. And, and, you know, he was a, a very highly touted recruit, and, you know, the, the Missouri faithful – we're very excited when he committed to come to Columbia to play basketball for the University of Missouri. And then, you know, kind of has the injury, uh, you know, back-to-back with the brothers and, and just kind of never got off the ground there. The women's basketball program, uh, they're coming off a 24-11 and 11 season, a really good season. Uh, they lost in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Uh, Sophie Cunningham, uh, their star player, uh, drafted in the WNBA draft by the Phoenix Mercury, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, I'm not sure if Coach Pynchon will be here tonight or not. Uh, most recently, uh, the Missouri softball program uh, having another – solid season but it just came to an end the other day in the regionals uh they got sent out to los angeles where they had to play the number two seed ucla uh they lost they fought their way back through the bracket to face ucla again and they beat ucla and forced a third game a decisive game and UCLA took care of them that ended the Tigers softball season uh, they finished with a record of uh 35 and 25 and the Missouri Tiger baseball season, uh, I believe, has come to an end. Uh, the Tigers lost the SEC tournament. Uh, they do feel like they've done enough to earn a spot in the NCAA uh, World Series, the College World Series. Uh, you know, try to get into a regional there, but I don't think uh, they will find out until Monday. I think the selection show is Monday for uh, the NCAA baseball postseason. Yeah, uh, you know, that, that'll be interesting. Like you said, the, the, the Missouri team... And coaching staff, uh, you know, from, from what I've seen online, really feel like they did do enough to, to get that bid uh, to, to try to play, uh, you know, for, for an opportunity to get to the, the World Series, College World Series. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out on, on Monday. Okay. Jason Lamb standing by live here at Chicken and Pickle with uh, Austin and Gary, and we are having a good time. Uh, uh, if, if we have to sit here much longer, guys, I'm going to have to order something off the menu, I think. You guys have already had the opportunity to ch- check out uh, yeah. the menu. Yeah, like I said, uh, you know, I, I highly recommend the wings. Uh, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm a big wing connoisseur. Love me some chicken wings. So definitely highly recommend those here at the Chicken and Pickle. Uh, do you tonight. play the pickleball before you eat, or do you wait, or should you eat first and then try to work off some of that with the pickleball? I I don't, I'm not sure how that works. So you can do a little, you can do a little, b- little bit of both. Like the strategy, you get here, you're like, I'm not, I'm not really hungry yet. Just go down there, play a little bit. All right, I'm feeling kind of hungry, and then you can literally walk up to the mini board and just go like, you can close your eyes and just go, uh, and then they'll make you something that's gonna be really good, <laughs> and then you eat that. And then you're like, okay, I'm feeling a little full. Guess what? Run back down, play a little pickleball. Now you're feeling good again. <laughs> kind of work it off a little bit. So, um, so yeah, it's like, it's perf- this is the perfect environment. You can, yeah. you can you can get full, and then you can work it off. You know, go play or whatever. So, yeah, this is a, this is a great place, and it's a great setup here for everybody to come and 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 hang out. Uh, even if you're not a Missouri Tiger fan, I know uh, I know some of the Kansas City Chiefs have been up here uh, uh, recently. Uh, Patrick Mahomes and uh, Garrick Dieter and uh, Travis Kelsey and some uh, other guys have been spotted out here playing pickleball. Oh yeah, that the, you know you you never know who you might run into, uh, you know when when you are out here at, at the Chicken and Pickle. Like I said, we had an 810 varsity uh, for the camps. We had we had an event here for them a few weeks ago, uh, you know, right before their camps, and it, it was also a great event. Uh, you know, a lot of fun here, at chicken and pickle. There's a lot of different things you can do out here. Uh, you know, not just eat, ha- have a few drinks if that's what you want to do. You know, play some pickleball, do some activities. You know, there, there's uh, the oversized Jenga boards. I've seen a couple of oh, yeah. those around. You know, so lots of activities you can do here at the Chicken and Pickle. Well, 
big item of discussion here tonight will be the Missouri Tiger football program. Uh, let's talk a little bit about high school and and uh, and what the summer schedule looks like. Uh, what what are the Kansas high schools allowed uh, to do during the summertime these days? Yeah, um, we actually will do weights uh, at Shawnee Mission East. Uh, what we're going to do is four days a week, uh, Monday through Thursday, we will uh, do weights from about 7. We'll start at 7 and be done roughly 8.30 in the morning for our for our varsity athletes, JV and varsity football guys. Uh, that will be a 9-12 uh, time. And then there will be some middle school weights after that. And uh, on Wednesdays, we'll actually go out and do some football activities, uh, you know, d- depending on the week. And, you know, our head coach, uh, uh, Justin Hoover, kind of takes care of that. But, uh, you know, depending on the week, we can use a football sometimes. Sometimes we cannot use a okay. football, uh, you know, just depending on those case rules. But, yeah, on Wednesdays, we're after weights, we're going to kind of take the kids out and, and – do some football-related activities on the field and work with our individual position groups. I coach D-line, so we'll work a lot of stance and start and block recognition, which, okay. you know, as a D-line coach, I really don't need a football. You know, mm-hmm. I, I might go through weeks and weeks and not even touch a ball, mm-hmm. uh, you know, just because my position group, you know, we don't require it. We, we might have a ball and a stick I use for them to get off. I might use my foot. Uh you know, uh, we don't go on a count really on defense because we want to see that motion. But, uh, you know, we might just go on the movement of an offensive guy. And so I'm looking forward to that. We start June 3rd. Okay. Uh, you know, with our uh, weights program for the summer, uh, we made a couple additions to the staff, uh, you know, that, that Coach Hoover will be announcing here in the next few weeks. But, uh, yeah, we got our staff full and, uh, you know, we got our. The defensive coordinator, our defensive staff pretty much stayed together uh, from last year. Uh, we've all been together. This will be our fifth year at Shawnee Mission East, and we're really looking forward to, uh, you know, just working together again and, and keeping our defense one one of the top top defenses in the Sunflower League. Uh, will there be any seven-on-seven seven camps or anything like that for the guys? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do some seven-on-seven, seven, uh, you know, in our, in our camp, camp situations. We have a couple weeks of camp. Uh, one in June and one in July, and then we actually have a couple uh, full scrimmages that are scheduled. Uh, you know where, like Bishop Meage, Blue Valley, and I think Olathe East will come over, and okay. you know that'll be sponsored by uh, I think Emporia State University sponsoring that. Is is that new to have those? I mean, Missouri has these jamborees uh, the Friday before. The, the regular the season game. begins, but uh, is that new on the Kansas side? Yeah, uh, Kansas did pass the, the jamboree thing where we could have kind of a tune-up scrimmage the week before our first game. Uh, you know, that'll be new this year, this fall. But, uh, yeah, in the summer, it's, it's a weird rule where if it's sponsored by a college, hmm. then, you know, you can have other teams there, and we meet, you know, like on a Thursday morning and – you know, we'll meet at, at either on our field or at Bishop Miege. We've done in the past and, and just got some good work in with about three or four of the other top teams in the Metro and, uh, you know, kind of tune up our guys and, and see, put some kids in, in some game-like situations. Okay. And, and see kind of what they have because, you know, we're, we're watching them all summer. And, and you know, I mean, we, we have an idea of, you know, who, who our guys need to be this year. We had a heavy senior class last year, so we, we lost a lot of guys. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to need some young guys to kind of step in that maybe d- didn't have a lot of playing time last year and, and come in and do a good job for us. And, you know, we have a, an idea of who those guys are, but, you know, we want to see who, you know, once we put them in a game situation, who's, who's going to step up, who's going to answer the call. Okay. So, you know, I, I'm we're looking forward to that, especially – D-line wise, you know, we, we ran our 3-4 last year and, and PJ Spencer and Ashton Andino were two seniors that, that started every game and, and played pretty much every minute of every game for us. Uh, Ashton had a little bit of an injury there and, and missed a little bit of time, but you know, those two guys are, are going off to college and, and I keep joking with them that I'm going to I'm going to fudge their transcript a little bit <laughs> so they got one more year. But uh, you know, can't do that. So they're they're going to move on to uh, the the college. PJ's going up to Northwestern in Chicago. Okay, and, and you know he's going to do a great job up there. 
you know, Ashton's going to go to Central uh, Methodist University out, out kind of in the middle of Missouri. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, he'll, he'll do a great job out there. You know, our middle linebacker, Tyler Stottle, uh, graduated. Uh, our other middle linebacker, uh, uh, Jason Moore, um, or he uh, he's graduated too. So, you know, we lost a lot of guys on defense, and, and you know, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a, a challenge to get some of these younger guys coached up. Yeah, I wonder if Missouri is in on any Kansas City high school football players. They always do a good job of plucking a few out of the metro area every year. And uh, one of those guys, uh, Shane Ray from uh, Bishop Miege High School, uh, you mentioned earlier about uh, you know whether or not Tiger fans could be uh, you know like the fact that. Drew Locke is now a member of the Denver Broncos. I think we had to deal with that situation when mm-hmm. when you had such a good guy in Shane Ray who spent three years with the Denver Broncos. But uh, he uh, he just signed here uh, last week with the Baltimore Ravens. So mm-hmm. uh, so a fresh start for Shane Ray. Yeah, and, uh, uh, you know, he does a camp here in Kansas City every mm-hmm. year uh, for uh, un- underprivileged kids, really any high school kids, younger kids elementary age kids all the way up through high school i worked at camp for the first time last year it, it was a great opportunity and actually you know shane was there and he was out there working with uh you know some of the kids showing them moves and you know the, the kids just ate it up Have, having an nfl guy mm-hmm. from the kansas city area a good friend of mine dj patel who just got the head football job at central coach shane when he was at uh, bishop me okay and so that's kind of how I got connected with that camp. But, yeah, um, you know, Shane Ray does that camp. And it's, uh, I believe it's June 15th this year, uh, Father's Day weekend. On that Saturday, it'll be at Central High School. And, uh, you know, we'll make sure to tweet out those details on okay. that if anybody's interested. But, uh, but yeah, Shane Ray, he does a camp, you know, for kids of all ages and, and – it's a good time. It's a I've free attend- camp. Yeah, I've attended it the last couple of years. I mean, uh, the story with Shane Ray, uh, you know, a single mom uh, as a parent, and uh, he couldn't afford the cleats, and he couldn't find the right sizes, and they often uh, counted on donations from people to uh, to get the right size shoes when he needed them. And so he, uh, that is something that's very near and dear to his heart now. Uh, they collect, they have shoe drives. They, they mm-hmm. did that in Denver, and yep. I imagine he'll probably start doing that in Baltimore as, as well, uh, uh, collecting shoes uh, that can be donated to high school kids uh, who, who need them. Uh, he, he's just uh, he's just a great story, and I'm, I'm glad he found uh, a, a fresh start with the Ravens. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I mean, I think he'll do a good job kind of getting after the quarterback there, uh, you know, and I'm glad to see that, you know, again, another Missouri connection with yeah. him, uh, you know, Seemed like for for a while there, there, every year Missouri was putting another D lineman in in the mm-hmm. uh, in the NFL draft and yeah. getting taken highly. So you know they've done a good job with that developing them. You know, Coach Odom was there as a defensive coordinator for a number of years. So you know he was kind of helping and, and develop some of those guys. One of those big linemen who came from the metro area was uh, Daniel Parker from Blue Springs High School who went to Missouri as a defensive lineman but last year uh, they transitioned him they moved him over to the other side of the ball to play tight end and uh, he's become a big part of the offense uh, for the Missouri Tigers uh, now and and other guys from the Kansas City area that I want to mention uh, who play a big role on uh, on the offense Right now, uh, Dominic Jacinto, the wide receiver from Raytown, uh, he played quite a bit as a freshman. He'll mm-hmm. uh, he'll uh, only be a sophomore. Uh, Dawson Downing, a running back from Bishop Miege High School. Yeah, uh, he was kind of the star of the spring game uh, a year ago or so. Uh, so be curious to see uh, if he can break into the running back rotation at all. And then a uh, young man from Kearney High School, uh, Cole Garrett, senior line. Backer this season, uh, who who uh, Barry Odom says uh, is as good of a leader as he's ever had uh, on that well, that's side saying of the a football. Lot. Yeah. yeah, that's saying a lot. Yeah, um, I, I know Cole was was not highly recruited out of high school. You know, he was kind of a, a guy that Missouri got on late. You know, from really right right just north of the metro area in Kearney, and and he's done a great job since he's been up there, and and it was definitely a. a great find for for the Missouri staff.
Okay. All right, uh, Jason Lamb, I'm here with uh, Austin and Gary, and we are going to take a break and be right back with you. We are live from Chicken and Pickle.